Welcome back. We're on part two of the Yoast SEO setup and content improving. Okay, so what do what we're going to do today is we're going to be looking at increasing our products ranking. So if you first of all click on the products tab within your dashboard, and this will open up your product catalog. Okay, now in your product catalog you'll have all your products that you've downloaded from Amazon. And you'll also notice that there is a new column called SEO. Okay, now there is uh, little dots next to this column. Uh, now these will be green once you've optimised it. Green obviously means the best. It also goes orange, which is okay. And then you have red, which is bad. And obviously grey, which means you haven't done anything at all. Okay, so obviously there's millions and millions of products. You don't have to go through them all, but you're best to. Um, so just take your time and you can do maybe even a couple of products a week. And we'll just click on the product, which will take you into the product page. Okay, now this book's about a complete guide to growing windowsill plants. Um, you can see you've got your traffic light just on the left there. And then you've got your snippet. Now your snippet is how your advert will look on, or should I say your page description should look on Google. Um, and obviously you have your title at the top, and then you have your URL in green, and then you have what we call your meta description at the bottom. A little bit, a little description about what site you're going to have, or what the page displays. Okay, now I'll put indoor grown here, but I'm not going to put that in, because it's not about that. We better to keep it to the subject of the page, so that will be windowsill plants, or you could have complete guide to windowsill, a uh, complete guide to growing windowsill plants, and then that would be the focus keyword. Now your aim is to try and have this keyword in the page as many times as possible, so when people go to Google type in windowsill plants, your page scores highly on the search engine ranking which therefore means you boost up Google's pages. Okay, so the better, the better the SEO, the better the ranking on Google. The more people find your, your pages, the more commissions. Okay, now you just want to type in a wee description. Uh, I'm just going to write something like, City Farmer brings you the widest range of indoor growing guides. For a range of categories such as window sill plants, something along the lines. Okay, now your aim is to get that box to go green and obviously fill the bar up as full as you can. And the more words you type, it'll go right up to the end. And obviously, if you type too much, it'll go red. Okay, so I'll just leave it something like that. So it'll be window sill plants, vegetables, and orchids. At least it's mentioned in window sill plants, so that'll get a score. Okay, now you'll notice that underneath your focus keyword, it'll say content analysis. Okay, now you're just going to have to keep reading these. And what this will do is it'll tell you how to improve your score. Right, so the first thing I'm going to change is, I'm going to change the SEO title. Okay, and I'm going to put in something like uh, gardening books, indoor gardening books, but I'm going to change that. I'll change it to just gardening books and then I'll put complete guide to windowsill plants so at least it still mentions the windowsill plants now you could have just copied what it had there and just typed it in um, and it probably still would have gave you a green score but I'm just going to keep it simple for myself so I'll take that indoor out so it'll be gardening books complete guide to windowsill plants so you can read the whole title in that small space Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a wee change to the meta description just to fill it out a little bit so it looks rather small okay now you see once you type a little bit too much it will go red okay now that tells you that it's too big and obviously the people can't read read everything that it says so what you want to do is you want to obviously get that small enough okay I'll just skip this a little bit Right, so I finally decided on a meta description and it goes something like this. Complete guide to windowsill plants, part of City Farmer's wide range of indoor gardening books 
with such a varied selection, there is something for everyone. Okay, now I'm just checking to see that the analysis agrees. And it's saying that what I need to do is I need to increase the text on the page. The slug for the page is too long. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to shorten that slug. It's like green just now, but we want that to be... Yeah, sorry, it's like orange just now, but we want it to be green. Okay, what we could try is taking out the word complete. And then maybe deleting all the end part. So it just says complete guide to growing windowsill plants. Okay, and then we'll ch change our focus keyword to the same. So it'll be complete guide to windowsill plants. And then we'll check the analysis again and see what it says. Okay, now the analysis says that your focus keyword contains one or more stop words. So what we'll do is we'll take two out and we'll just put complete guide windowsill plants. Just like that. Okay, now it's all been red again, but don't worry about that. Just delete the two out of your SEO title. But we'll just stick in the two. We'll just leave it like that just now. Okay, so what I'll try is I'll move complete guide to windowsill plants to the front and then I'll put dash gardening books. So we'll just basically swap it around. And then maybe put another dash city farmer. Okay, that's a bit long. Yeah, I'll just put indoor gardening books. Okay, now the next one says the focus keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy. Now what that means is up here, you have obviously the text. So you want to take this complete guide, make a title. So you want heading one. And then you want to type in complete guide to growing windowsill plants. And I'm just going to spread this out a little. Okay, so I'll just put in and put this onto a new line. In fact, I think I'll just delete that. And if you go down to the bottom, we'll just check. Okay, it says that our heading needs to be in H2. So that means heading 2. So we'll change that from heading 1 to heading 2. For some reason it's saying that the focus keyword isn't in any subheading at H2. So what we'll try is, uh, we could possibly change the keyword. Yeah, I think we'll try that. We'll try changing the keyword. Okay, and your slug is that part there. Okay, now it also says that the text contains 163 words, which is below the 300 recommended by Yoast. So we really need to increase this text here. Okay, now I'm going to do that, but I'm going to fast forward it. And I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to put some music on and let it go.
Okay, now I've increased the words up to 160 and I've increased the keyword density to 3.1%. So we're going to go back up and try it again. The keyword density is up to 2.5%, but I've reduced the words to 157, so I'm going to have to write some more. The slug is still too long, the images don't have any alt tags, and no outbound links appear on this page. So what I'm going to do is going to insert this little sentence and then I'm going to link this end part here. Now to link it you highlight it, click on the link and then insert the URL you want to link it to. Now I'm going to link it to the page. Now it's just it's just a pretend sentence so I've not got a proper link on there. It's just to show you what you would do to get an outbound link. And as you can see that's changed now. Okay now the, the other thing it says is it's hard to read and the images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit a wee bit more. Okay, now the, that's I've got green. The flesh, the flesh reading score is 60, 60 something. So that's good. Okay, now all we need to do is shorten the slug and give the images an alt tag. So there's an image there. So we'll click on the image and you'll see a box that says alt text and we'll just put the keyword in there, which is windowsill plants. And then we'll just hit set product. Okay, now that should make that go to green. Yep, there we go. The images on this page contain an alt tag. Okay, so the last one is the slug and the text. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the slug just windowsill plants. And the last thing is, we need to increase the text again. So I'm going to put this in fast forward. Okay, now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this page. I got up to, I think it was 162 words. Um, but you, the closer you can get to 300, the better. But I'm already been at green for quite a long time, and it's the only orange orange SEO thing I have. So if I wanted to increase that at a later date, I can. Okay, now I'm just showing you the page, how it looks. And that's it. I actually optimised that page. And as you can see at the top there, it says SEO and it's got a green light. So that means that the page is good to go and it's, it's well optimised for rankings on Google. Okay, now the next thing we're going to move on to, we're going to optimise our categories. Okay, now obviously I'm going to go and show you just the one category and then it'll be up to you to go and do all the products and categories yourself on your own site. Now just a quick thing up the top there, you can see the SEO tab. Now this gives you plenty of other external links. Um, the good one to use is the Google AdWords. Um, now obviously it's the same Google account you logged into for your search console. It'll automatically uh, open up the, new, the, the AdWords page. Now what's good on this page is you get a thing called the Keyword Planner. Okay, now this is great for researching keywords that you're going to be using on your pages. Uh, you can find out what's had the most searches uh, and lots of different information. Um, but I'm just going to quickly show you how to get to it. Okay, so once you've opened up Google AdWords, it should open up automatically to your keyword planner. So you just click on search for a new keyword. And then you go in and type in your what it is you're looking for. Now you can do this by phrase or word. And you can also see what cat, what kind of product it is you're trying to get rid of, and the uh, uh, website address as well. Okay, and the second one on that one is we'll go to our Google Insights page. Now again, it should log in automatically 
if you're logged into your Google account. And this gives you all different kinds of trends. Okay, so if you're looking for a different kind of trend that week to advertise that kind of product, then this is a good thing to use. Right, so we'll head back to your dashboard and we'll go to products and then click on categories on your tabs on the left hand side. Now this gives us all categories and again, as a, the same as the products, we'll have a new column called SEO and they're all grey. You know, it is easier to just adjust these ones. We just go, click on edit and it's the same process. Okay, so once your category is opened, you want to scroll down to the bottom and we're looking for obviously the snippet and our Yoast SEO editing. Okay, now the first thing we're going to put in is our keyword, which will be indoor gardening books. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll change the title to something, uh, I think we'll put indoor gardening books dash city farmer or from city farmer, one of the two. Okay, so that's our key keyword registered. In fact, I'll put dash huge range for all skill levels. Any skill level. And then we'll change the slug. Change that to indoor gardening books. And there we go, that's it registered. And then we'll type in a meta description. And I'll just quickly fast forward this part. And we want to insert some text again, obviously with some headings and some paragraphs. Okay, now once you've finished your paragraphs, you want to just go down and check and see what it says. Okay, now it says I've done 195 words out of 300, so I'm just going to add a little bit more text and a few more keywords to try and get the density up get it focus it just says that we need to it needs to be readable so you try and make your sentences as small as possible or make them as as fluent as possible so that it's easier to read for obviously your customer okay now i'm just going to fast forward this part and we'll get back to it in a couple of seconds Okay, and I'm just going to center the center the whole paragraph. Yeah, that looks better. And I'll just change a few words here. Okay, now we'll go back down and check once more. Okay, now it says that there's no outbound links, and that there's no images on the page, and the text is still short. And obviously the flesh the flesh score means how easy it is to read, it's still not green, so we need to make our sentences just that little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and fast forward, and I'm going to go and edit that. Okay, now basically you're just going to want to work away until you get all those green, or as, as many of them as you can get green, and still make it look presentable, because you don't want a big bunch of text at the top of your page that nobody's going to read really. Okay, so green scores great, but it also doesn't help if it takes up half your page and nobody can see your products. Okay, now we'll just save that just now and then we'll go and have a quick look at it and actually see what it looks like on the page. Okay, now you have to go into that category, which is books. Now you can see that it is a big, massive bit of text and also the, the top title isn't quite big enough and the second title is bigger than the first so we need to change that about so we just go up to the top and click on edit product ca category once you're back into the product category you're going to just give it a quick edit uh, change that from a heading one to a heading two sorry from heading three to heading two and then just edit anything that it tells you at the bottom that still needs changed and i think i still need to get the the flesh rating up so what i'll do is i'll Make these sentences a bit shorter. Once you've made your changes, you just want to keep going back and checking. Obviously, update it first and then go and check what it looks like. And then, obviously, refresh the page. 
and that's it. Both our titles are now blue and they're small. Um, but I think we'll make a few more changes, but I'll just keep fast forwarding through the changes, seeing as I've told you what to do now, but just to let you see see the process. Okay, now I'm just going to make a few more edits and then I'm just going to go and check it again. Okay, now I only have the red at the top, which says no images are in this page and it's hard to, it's a wee bit hard to read and there's only 224 words. Okay, but I don't think I can add any more words without it getting any bigger. So we'll just leave that. What I will change is that top title. I think I'm going to make that a bigger title. Okay, you just want to refresh the page and just make sure that your title has changed. And there we go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll just leave it how it is. And just have a quick look through this page. Oh, hang on, what's that? Croquet patterns for dummies. Okay, now I'm going to remove this product. So if you just want, if you want to remove a product, just click on it. Obviously, this is for indoor gardening, and that's not part of it. Um, so then you'll go up to the top there, and you want to select Edit Product. Okay, now once you're in here, you want to click on Move to Trash, not Make a Copy, which I just did. So I'm going to have to trash that copy and then I'm going to have to go back in and trash the other one. But I'll just do that myself. Okay, so all you do is click the move to trash and then that'll be it gone. Just like so. Once it's deleted, it'll take you back to the products page or the products catalogue page. Now I'm going to show you another way to delete it and that is by Obviously, I'll put in the search term crochet and then it'll come up. And you'll see just there a red tab. Just click that, that's called trash, and that'll delete the product as well. So there's two ways to do it. Whichever way you do is up to you. Okay, now that's us come to the end of the video. The rest is up to you. Um, basically, you'll just have to work your way through the pages and categories until you've got pretty much all your pages on green. And once you've done that, then you're good to go. Thanks for watching again. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next see you in the next tutorial.